All right, we're going to look at powers of 10 today and how we can write these with exponents. So this big number here, the 10, is called the base, and then this little number is called the exponent. And the exponent tells us how many times that we need to multiply the base. So in this case, since we've got a 2, we would do 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 gives us 100. So 10 to the second power is going to be the same thing as 100. We could also say this is 10 squared. That's another way to read these. And if I had 10 to the third power, we can say 10 to the third power or 10 cubed. And that would mean the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10. So that gives me 1,000. Then if I had 10 to the fourth power, you can see the pattern here. We're going to multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we're doing it four times. And then that gives me 10,000. So you may have noticed another pattern here. Whenever we are using powers of 10, this exponent also shows us how many zeros we're going to have in our number. So 10 to the second power had two zeros. 10 to the third power has three zeros. And then 10 to the fourth power, we see the four zeros. So we can check, you know, in that way too. Another way that we use exponents, it doesn't have to be just with powers of 10. You know, I could say 7 to the second power. So 7 to the second power would mean 7 times 7. So that gives me 49. So any number, I can write it with an exponent. Now, when we're doing powers of 10, you know, I may say multiply 7 times 10 to the second power. So I know that's the same thing as multiplying 7 times 100. Because 10 to the second power is the same thing as 100. So I would just multiply 7 times 100, which would give me 700. If I said 6 to the times 10 to the third power, you know, that's the same thing as multiplying 6 times 1,000. So that would give me 6,000. So I can write them like this. You know, one thing that you don't want to get mixed up, you know, 10 to the fourth power is not 10 times 4. We know that this is not going to be 40. So don't get confused with that. That means that we multiply the 10, we repeat the 10 four times using multiplication. So you'll have some where you have to multiply like these, and then you'll have some that they're just going to ask you the number. You know, what would 10 to the third be? You would put 1,000. But then if they said, you know, 6 times 10 to the third power, that's when you would have to, you know, put 6,000. And then, you know, you may have some that are not powers of 10, so you'd have, you know, 6 to the third power. So that means 6 times 6 times 6. So it's not 6 times 3. It's 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 36. Then I have to multiply 36 times 6 to get my final answer. So 36 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and then 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21. You know, I know that was actually 6 times 30, but my final answer is going to be 216. So you can see, you know, that that ended up being quite a bit bigger whenever we had the exponent. Using exponents can make it easier. You know, if I had 10 to the 6th power, that's going to be a million. So it would be easier just to write 10 to the 6 than to write out all the zeros. So that helps whenever we're getting the bigger numbers. All right, so you'll have a few more practice problems like this on the form. You can look back at the video if you have questions about it. And remember, do your best.